Alright guys, so not gonna lie, I was really hoping this protein boss was Sledge because me and Sledge got some business to handle. <laughs> so I, I beat Sledge once before and it was with a team on a team basis. I'll put that link to the video up here. Make sure you check that out after this video. But as you know, or if you don't know, to get the Proton skin for whichever either Alibi, Smoke, or Sledge, you have to beat them at least twice, minimum two times to get the skin. Um, I already got Alibi. I'll put that link to, to that video up here as well. But yeah, so I've been trying to get Sledge. I played like two or three times solo, and yeah, so I was really hoping I could get him this time. But uh, but yeah, me and Sledge got some business to handle, but we're not going to do it on this one. It turned out to be Smoke, so this will be a Smoke Protein video. Hope you guys enjoy, and make sure you subscribe to the channel. Like the video as well, I'd appreciate it, and leave a comment down below on how you defeat these proteins. I'm, I like to find out how other guys do it. So, that being said, here we go, how to beat protein uh, smoke. Tip number one, what I did off, what I did off camera, or not off, I don't have a camera. Dumbass smoke. No, off camera, no. What I did off screen, rather, or without recording, <laughs> is on the previous two sub zones i gathered as much paralysis grenades as i could well first i um equipped paralysis grenades and during the two first two sub zones i basically gathered as much of those as i could because once you get inside the protein area environment there's only like one react uh refresh but the rest is all ammo and health so that's pretty much tip number one. Make sure you do that. Tip number two, when you see that white bar, he's got a lot of shield. His shield is full. So my suggestion is to attack heavy and then retreat. Because you will run out of ammo at some point and you got to take your time. You got to reload. So that's why I just get in there heavy and then back off. So that's what I. That's how I got the shield down, the first shield down and then also gives you time to like run around get ammo get health as you need it you know take care of this um, sprawl that's all up in the area and all that stuff and so actually that brings us to tip number three when you see that I call it the force field looking thing <laughs> that's all I could figure out a name for it he's getting ready to throw that sludge in your face so take cover um, you don't want to get that stuff because I think it does damage also makes it hard to see for a minute so definitely get ready for that and when you see that get some cover or run away tip number four as you can see i use these paralysis grenades a lot and that's why i gather them because it slows them down and you can get in a lot of hits i don't say stun grenade because the stun grenades sit there and blind you like i, I don't like using them too much anymore i used to but now paralysis grenade is better to me because it has the same effect on them, but it doesn't affect you. Like, it doesn't blind you. You can sit there and see what's going on. So, awesome. So, tip number five. After his shield is gone, you see up there the shield is gone? That's when he's going to start leaving that toxic gas. And it does do damage if you get in there. So, you have to do your best to, like, you know, he's going to leave that trail of toxic gas. So, you just got to avoid that as much as possible. What I suggest doing, unlike I did, but after watching this, I realized the best way to do it is to just run and or walk in large around the whole area. That way you have less, um, less, less chances to run into that toxic gas. So uh, that, that's probably another good tip. See like right here, I'm kinda, I kind of trapped myself. So that wasn't too smart. But anyway, uh, not on, enough of my shortcoming. <laughs> Alright, so, uh, yeah guys, so we're almost done here. And that brings us to tip number six. Halfway through the fight, just like many of the other protein battles, halfway through his health, he's going to disappear and dispatch Arcanes. Um, grunts, I've seen bloaters, breachers, and the likes. He's going to dispatch those while he is disappearing or why he disappeared so i like to use the auto turret if you if you had that unlock i use the auto turret it might help you guys out see what i did here was drop the auto turret somewhere in the corner and then he can watch that flank my flank to my left and then i can sit over here and engage targets 
at my leisure and I don't have to worry about that side because the auto turret's got that part handled so pretty awesome um, I will put a video on how to well actually it's you can't do you can't get auto turret anymore and spillover because spillover is gone but I might do another video on how to get the auto turret there's another way to do it but so after his after those arcanes are pretty much done he will come back with still half his health but now he's got a full shield back so now you pretty much just just do exactly what you did the first time see i didn't get rid of all the grunts in the area still a few of them in there and you, and you still gotta watch out for that toxic gas too because it apparently still lingers so as you can see yeah so i started out the mission with like 19 paralysis grenades and look i'm already down to like six but they do help that's what i'm saying so make sure you uh stock up on those bad boys on the first two sub zones you'll be glad you did because yeah they come in handy obviously so yeah so pretty much just watch out for that also i'm using sophia um i kind of used the lifeline a little bit eh, i don't know probably i don't think it did much help as much as these paralysis grenades oh yeah if you get close to him he will butt stroke you with the butt of his shotgun so <laughs> Watch out for that as well. But yeah, um, <laughs> but yeah, so I'm using these paralysis grenades. He's very fast. You just gotta kind of be faster than him and lay it on him. And y'all wonder why I like LMGs? Here's why. Because you can let loose and go crazy, do lots of damage. And yeah, tip number seven, finally done. Uh, my sidearm came in clutch, right? Because I was down to like zero. And yeah. I would have been stuck sitting there trying to reload the LMG, speaking of LMGs, and another two, maybe three shotgun rounds, he would have had me. So I already had that in my mind as I was running down the LMG on him. So I was like, well, I know in my mind I'm just going to switch to my sidearm, and hopefully that does it. And it did. So, and also, lastly, keep an eye on the clock because you only have 10 minutes. So. That's gonna do it. That's how I beat Smoke the first time. I want. I will eventually beat him again, and also I gotta beat Sledge again, twice. So that way I have the skins. I'm really trying to get those protein skins. So stay tuned for some more videos on that. Hope you guys like the video. If you do, if if you did, subscribe to the channel, like the video, and um, we'll see you guys on the next video. Peace.